Question number 17. We are told the first term of an arithmetic progression is equal to the first term of arithmetic progression, GP. The second term of the AP is equal to the fourth term of the GP, while the tenth term of the AP is equal to the seventh term of the GP. So let's write that information. So we are told uh, that uh, A for the GP is the same as A for the AP. Uh, we are also told that the we are told that uh, the fourth term of the GP. How do you write the fourth term of the GP? Uh, we write it as uh, A R to power three is equals to. Uh, that is equals to the second term of AP, which we say it is A plus D. That is the second term of the AP. Uh, while at the tenth term, the tenth term of GP, we write it as A R to power nine uh, is equals to uh, the seventh term. The, s uh, the uh, equals to uh, the seventh term. So how do you write uh, that is one? The tenth term of the AP is equals to the seventh term. So the seventh term of the AP, you write it, uh, it is A to power 6, that is the seventh term, and the tenth term of AP is A plus 9D. So I hope you know how we generate the, uh, the, the progression of the series AP and GP. Uh, so that is uh, given that A is the first term and the D is a, sec is a common difference of AP or R is a common ratio of GP, write the two equations connecting AP and GP. So we have already done that, uh, so we can say this is part A. Uh, we go to part B where we are told find the value of R that satisfies the progressions uh, R, uh, how do we, we are supposed to connect uh, the two so we can say uh, if we can be able to because we have three unknowns uh, we can write D is equals to we take A to the other side it will be A R cubed uh, minus D minus A that is uh, that is minus A we substitute that D in our second part so we can call this is one and this is two uh, so we substitute uh, we call this three we substitute three in two we will be able to get a r to power six uh, is equals to a uh, plus now we have nine into bracket nine we substitute d uh, which we have said it is a r cubed uh, minus a uh, so we can simplify this and say this is a r to power six is equals to uh, we have a uh, plus uh, nine a r cubed uh, then we have minus nine a uh, so with that we can put the right terms together uh, so we can say this is our a to p r to power 6 uh, is equals to we can write 9 a r cubed and a mi minus 9 it will be minus 8 a so we can divide throughout by a and we will be able to get uh, r to power 6 is equals to 9 r cubed um, minus 8 uh, which we can again write r to power 6 uh, we take uh, my r to power 3 to the other side then we have minus 9 r cubed uh, 8 becomes positive one is it crosses the equal sign is equals to 0 so we can write this as r uh, cube to be put the uh, square there uh, minus 9 r cubed uh, plus 8 is equals to 0 so we write uh, r cubed is equals to x so we can substitute the x there so we can say x squared uh, minus 9 x uh, plus 8 is equals to 0 
this is a quadratic equation and because of space uh, I'll not go into details I'll just write its factors so x is equals to, is uh, that is x minus 1 and we have uh, x minus 8 is equals to 0 so we can say x is equals to 1 or x is equals to 8 and because we had said x is equals to uh, r cubed so r cubed is equals to 1 uh, or r cubed is equals to 8 implying that r is equals to cube root of uh, 1 is 1 or cube root of 8 is equals to 2 so that is a common ratio and uh, being the common ratio uh, we can say if we take one one is a constant that uh, it doesn't change whether you multiply or you divide anything so if we say r is equals to one our uh, we will not have a uh, arithmetic or geometric progression so we say r is equals to to two so that is how you find r i have followed the wrong process so that you understand but uh, if you, uh, uh, you can be able to shorten some steps that would be good so we go to but because we are revising that is healthy uh, we go to part uh, the other part is we have found r given that the tenth term of the gp is five hundred and five thousand and five thousand one hundred and twenty find the value of a and d uh, I don't have space so I will need to clear uh, some space but now that we have found R uh, let's see whether we'll be able to find uh, the, 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 com the, the first term and the common difference so if we are told that the tenth term we can t write the nth term of the GP AR to power 9 is equals to 5120 and we have already found R so we can say a multiplied by r we have found is 2 to power 9 is equals to 5120 so we can get a is equals to uh, 5120 we divide by 2 to power 9 and uh, you use your calculator you'll be able to find a is equals to 10 so if a is equals to 10 <coughs> at the <coughs> We had been told that uh, the fourth term of A, that is AR cubed, is equals to fourth term of GP is equals the second term of uh, the the AP. So that is that. Uh, so we have uh, we have A is ten multiplied by two to power three is eight because R is two is equals to two plus d uh, so not uh, 2 but 10 because our a is 10 so we are supposed to put 10 there plus d so this is 8 eh? uh, uh, you take 10 to the other side we get uh, 70 so d is equals to 70 so that is how you get a uh, and d so this is our a uh, which we have here which we have gotten 10 and d is equals to 70 so that's how you work out that so this is uh, what we have worked as part c to get a and d and now we look at uh, part d which we are told calculate the sum of the first 20 terms of the ap uh, the formula for finding the the sum of n terms of an ap is sn is equals to n over 2 uh, we put the bracket we say this is 2a then we add n minus 1 you multiply by d and you put the bracket so if we are talking of uh, the first 20 terms we say n is equals to 20 uh, so we say it is 20 divided by 2 uh, you put the bracket uh, 2, 2 multiplied by 10 our a is 10 uh, plus because our n is 20 minus 1 it is 19 multiplied by our d we have found is 70 uh, so you can use your calculator so this is equals to you can write this is 10 
multiply by multiply by 20 uh, plus when you multiply this you get 1330 uh, using your calculator you should be able to get uh, 13500 so that is uh, 20th the sum of the first 20 terms of the AP and that is how you work out that question uh, so here you need to remember uh, how to generate uh, arithmetic pro progression and geometric progression uh, so that you can be e able to equate what the information get provided here and that's what should help you to be able to solve this question.